here tonight. How many know that without truth we wouldn't be in this building today? It's a wonderful Sunday night here to talk about Christ. I thought as Brother Marlowe so beautifully told us tonight that this Savior that we love, how many love him tonight for what he did? There was no room in the end. And a few years later, there was no room in his family. And finally, there was no room in the tomb. Yep. That's right. That's right. But he has right. room here tonight. Yes. Yes. I believe that truth as a category does exist tonight. And I believe that truth will always not be a mystery to his people. Pilate said, what is truth? Jesus was standing in front of him. He couldn't even recognize that he was the truth. We're living in a mixed up world tonight. We're going to sing about the blood, but I agree with Brother Marvel tonight. How many believe there are people here tonight that need to make a decision for the Lord? Not long ago, this nation has been altered from its foundation. I think over 700 years before Christ was born, Isaiah said, therefore the Lord himself shall give us a sign. Yes. Said a virgin shall conceive yes. and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. Two chapters over it says, for unto us a son is born. Unto us a child is given. Yes. And the government would be upon his shoulders. His name would be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. David cried out in the book of Psalms, he asked the question that I asked tonight. He said, if the foundation be destroyed, what will the righteous do? Not long ago, I can't hardly hold that. I'm going to stand this up. It's better for me. Can I, can I get somebody to raise this up? Not long ago, there was the Smart article in the paper. I don't know if you saw it. It was about the king of Saudi Arabia. And he came to America. And he visited Georgetown University. And he visited Harvard University. And he deposited $10 million in each one of those universities' bank account to establish chairs of Islamic studies in America. There was a bright young lady not too long ago after that. She, ABC News was in Saudi Arabia and she had, to, she had the opportunity to interview the king of Saudi Arabia. And she brought up the question about him giving $10 million to these two universities in America to study Islamic to chair Islamic studies in America. She said, what if somebody give you $10 million to establish a chair of Christianity in Saudi Arabia? She said, would you allow it? He said, no. He never thought about it. He never hesitated. He never got some minute that he even thought about it. She said, why? He said, because there are no Christians in Saudi Arabia. I'm here to tell you tonight, the world needs an answer. In case you don't know it tonight, there are one million Muslims in the world today. Second to a Catholicism that is now, I mean, that is billion. Did I say million? Billion. One billion. Second to that is Catholicism tonight, which is one billion. How many know Jesus? has to be lifted up in these last days. Yeah. And there should be a church that will lift up his name on a Sunday night. Can we Amen. put our hands up tonight? Yeah. Can we say thank you, Jesus? Oh, I'm so glad, Lord, that a virgin conceived. Brought forth the Son. Now shall call his name. 
name Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. I'll tell you what he did tonight. He died. It's Sister Marlo and the singers will help me sing tonight the blood. I want you to help me sing it tonight. Because without the shedding of blood, the Bible says there is no remission for sin. 